numerical and continuous beam so this is the second part of a previous problem so in a previous uh, part we gone through the fixed end moment so these are the value of fixed end moment by using the uh, formulas for udl wl square by 12 for point load it is wl by 8 and this is hanging position so 40 into 2 you will get 8 kilonewton meter end moment for cd directly and these others are the fixed end moment you have to use this uh, formula to find out the fixed end moment you have to treat end as a fix this end you have to treat as fix okay and then you have to find out fixed end moment then we go through the relative stiffness for far end is fixed then you have to take i by l far end is continuous then you have to take i by l if a far end is simply supported it may be roller or hinge or hanging you have to take 3 by 4 into i by l when we were calculated the uh, distribution factor for the intermediate joints and member connected to the intermediate joint so these are the distribution factor by using the stiffness relative stiffness divided by total relative stiffness equation uh, for B it is 0.639 and for CB it is 0.361 then we gone through the moment distribution table and finally we having the final end moment okay so these are the final end moments now let let start with the remaining part okay so this is the remaining part of our problem so here we are going for the superimposed bending moment diagram so in superimposed bending moment diagram first there are two moment you have to superimpose one is free bending moment and second one is your final or fixed end moment or final moment so these two moment you have to show here so let see first one is the final end moment so ab final end moment is 72.780 so how to show now so this is moment for member ab at a so keep your pen here now this moment is positive so for positive you have to rotate in anti-clockwise sense so keep pen close to a and about a you have to rotate in anti-clockwise sense like this so it coming off so you have to show up 72.76780 now next moment is minus 34.44 so minus means you have to take clockwise sign now keep your pen close to b and rotate about b in a clockwise fashion so it cut your member and coming up so you have to show up above the member 34.4 now for bc plus 34.44 so for bc so keep your pen close to b for bc close to b now sign is positive that means you have to rotate in anti-clockwise since anti-clockwise sign about anti-clockwise sense about the b so anti-clockwise sense about the b coming up so you have to show up 34.4 for bc same magnitude is there for cb the value is minus 80 so keep your plane to uh, pain close to c all the member cb and rotate about c in a clockwise sense so clockwise sense coming up so show 80 up okay so these are the your end moment then join with the line so you will get final moment or end moment diagram or fixed end moment diagram okay now next one you have to go for free bending moment diagram so free bending moment diagram the load for ab is 20 kN per meter and udl so equation is wl square by 8 w is 20 span is 6 so 20 into 6 square divided by 8 you will get 90 kN meter so parabola you have to take and find out 
and draws this free bending moment diagram 90 for point load the equation is wl by 4 so it become 80 into 4 point load is 80 span is 4 divided by 4 it become 80 kilonewton meter so point load you have to draw the in triangular fashion so 80 okay. so this is your free bending moment diagram okay now above this fix or end moment whatever the portion that is showing your positive moment and below this there are negative moment in hatch area ok now the hatch position which position you have to make hatch the position which is a not overlap that position you have to make hatch and the remaining position keep at Z as it is ok so this white position indicate there is overlap of free pending moment and end moment and uh, hatch position show that that is there is no any overlap ok so this is about bending moment diagram now next is your shear force diagram so in the shear force diagram you have to calculate shear force due to loading and shear force due to the unbalanced moment and then after finding these two shear force you have to add together so use sign convention let me see if vertical shear force is vertical plus sign if shear force is downward then you have to use minus sign then add these two shear force together ok you will get final reaction so first is UDL so first take UDL 20 into 6 20 into 6 divided by 2 it becomes 60 kN upward 80 kN divided by 2 so reaction at B and C become 40 kN so there is reaction of 40 kN at D so there will be upward reaction at C 40 kN so this is about your reaction due to the given loading or we make the this span separate or we draw the free body diagram for each span our interest is in the reaction because we are interested in shear force diagram the next is consider end moment so end moment we know the value of end moment so these are the value of end moment so according to their sign you have to show there first is plus sign so you have to show in anti-clockwise sense now minus 34.5 so you have to show in clockwise sense then again for BC the sign is plus so anti-clockwise and at C the sign is minus that's why it is clockwise sense ok so now after this you have to take a difference between these two so 72.76 minus 34.4 divided by span 6 you will get 6.4 kN value now this value you have to show exactly below the maximum end moment so maximum end moment is 72.76 show below that first show below that vertical line exactly below the maximum moment now this moment is less so you show the arrow up so when it rotate it will add here now opposite to this you have to show arrow at the far end magnitude remains same same magnitude you have to show so it will form the couple and it will add here 34.4 and it will balance your 72.76 moment now next is span BC take a difference between 80 and 34.4 divided by span you are having a value of 11.4 now how to show choose your maximum end moment below that you that value you have to show 11.4 kN now there is a question of arrow so how to show the arrow it should be up y up when it rotate it will add in the 34.4 so its direction is in anti-clockwise sense this also 34.4 is also anti-clockwise sense so both will get add together and balance this 80 kN meter that's why you have to show up if it is up 
then far end you have to show directly in a downward direction magnitude you keep remain same 11.4 and 11.4 so it will form the couple and it will add in 34.4 and balance it okay so likewise you have to show the reaction due to the unbalanced moment after doing this reaction due to the given loading and reaction to the unbalanced moment now add this value consider sign convention plus 60 plus 6.4 become 66.4 kilonewton positive up plus 60 minus 6.4 kilonewton it become 53.6 kilonewton positive so up plus 40 minus 11.4 kilonewton it become positive so up 28.6 kilonewton next is plus 40 and plus 11.4 it become 54.4 kilonewton positive so you have to show up then 40 kilonewton you would write down directly 40 kilonewton no there is no any reaction due to the unbalanced moment 40 kilonewton okay so now after getting the support reaction now these two 53.6 kilonewton due to the a b and 28.6 kilonewton due to the span b c add this two together you will get final reaction at support b that is 82.2 kilonewton okay and adding this 40 plus 51.4 you will get final reaction at c and that value is 91.4 kilonewton now show the end shear force diagram first value is shear force reaction is 64.4 66.4 kilometer so up now udl so inclined line is there so 66.4 minus in bracket 20 into 6 so you will get value for 53.6 kilometer so this one is 53.6 kilometer so this total reaction or you may directly show here the upward you will get 28.6 kilometer no load so you have to move horizontal then this will 80 kilometer is there so 28.6 minus 80 so you will get minus 51.4 so matching with the 51.4 kilometer value 51.4 kilometer then you have to move up the total reaction is 90.4 so minus 51.4 and this uh, this value is minus up but it will going to match with the 40 you may directly write down it has a 40 kilometer no load so straight line up to this so matching with this 40 kilometer okay so this is your shear force diagram okay you there are two options when you are drawing a shear force diagram you consider the reaction and this loading or directly if you you know, we know the value of for each uh, span from this also you, we can directly draw the shear force diagram you see here this value is 66.4 kilonewton so this you having 66.4 53.6 you having 53.6 28.6 you having the 28.6 and no loading so it will be constant and you for the end this end the value will be 51.4 so here you write down 51.4 and for last it will 40 only how to draw when there is no load you maintain the straight line here you see no load straight line point load there is a vertical line so point load vertical line no load in between this point load and c so straight line here you draw the straight line in, in between c and d no load so again there is a straight line point load there is a vertical line okay and for udl there is an inclined line okay so this is your shear force diagram okay thank you